right. So I am going to be doing a sponsored stream for a game called Guild Saga Vanished Worlds. Um, I want to bring it up on Steam so y'all can see it. We're going to watch a little trailer together of the game. Um, just some things to keep in mind. This game is actually not out yet. October 10th is when it comes out. Patino, thank you for the 114 months. Thank you. How you doing? How you feeling? How's job searching going? I haven't asked you that in a while. I haven't asked you. Um, this game will be, uh, oh yeah, it's featured right now. So there is a demo right now if you guys want to play the demo. Um, there is a demo out. I believe, I believe the demo is going to, um, be available for RPG Fest, which is now until October 7th on Steam. Um, but this game comes out really soon, October 10th. Um, but I will be able to play it today show y'all a little preview of the game here let's watch the trailer together before i go dive deeper into it <gasps> look at it i love these type of graphics did it have all three tags um i believe it's just rpg <laughs> Look how pretty the graphics are! I love it! Ooh, it looks like we'll have options to choose from. Hello there, my pretties! <laughs> it is turn-based, too. I'm oh, sorry if it's loud. Sorry. Is that what the art style isometric pixel? I'm really bad at knowing the exact names of the art style. I just say, wow, it's pretty. Chicken! Oh, we're gonna have fun with figuring out what we're gonna look like. Oh boy. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot of different customization options, so <laughs> we'll figure this out. We'll figure it out together what we want to be. This is a really good trailer. Cute. Ooh, look at her. Live on Steam, October 10th, 2024. Early access. Guys, please make sure to go wishlist this game. Exclamation mark guild saga will give you the link. Please go wishlist the game. I would really appreciate if you do. <sighs> Let me read this. On your maiden voyage with the Heroes Guild, your ship was capsized by a manic maelstrom. Stranding your party on Respite Island, navigate your way through pirates, ferocious beasts, and shady alchemists as you un- ravel its mysteries it is a sprawling rpg um it has in-depth ambitious tactics combat sys a combat system uh let's see what else um it seems like there it, it's classic turn base uh there's a lot of narrative in this game and world building apparently we can <clears throat> have a party and we can choose who we'll have in our party. I'm assuming that's what, uh, assume, assuming there's four people in a party. It seems like that. Ooh, wow, look at that. Whoa. Ooh, this is really pretty. Um, we can also customize our companions. Your companions are more than just sidekicks. They're fully customizable characters with their own skills and equipment. You can tailor their abilities to fit your strategy with over a hundred skills across 10 disciplines and countless items to explore. Holy cow. And we can also craft, you can craft your own combat style. So if we want a, to be a warrior or a cleric, um, we can also wield dark forces. That's interesting. Seems like it's very flexible, so. Well, without further ado, let's jump in. Again, Estimation Mark Guild Saga, so you guys can um, try it. And it, there is a demo out right now, so if you guys want to try it out yourself, you can. But if you want to go and wishlist it, Estimation Mark Guild Saga will give you the, the link. Uh, just double checking, my category and title is updated, correct, chat? 
Oh wait, hold on. Let's let's move. Uh, hi, um, let's see. Um, oh, uh, uh, oh, wrong. Uh huh. Here we go. Let's see if my webcam is good here. I might have to move it around. Ooh, this looks pretty. Let's see what the settings are. <gasps> the music can run in the background. God bless you. God bless you. I love it when they have this. Um, let me know if I need to. Oh, let's fix the resolution. 1920 by 1080. Exclusive full screen. Interesting. Ultra. We're gonna run it on high because I love my computer, but I'm unsure. Wow, this looks good though. Um, how is the sound? Does it sound good? It seems like I can edit the sound while I'm in the game, so we can always just fix it. It sounds good right now though. Okay. Very big thank you to Ocelot for uh, sponsoring today's stream. Yes, thank you, Ian. Huge shout out to Ocelot. Huge shout out for sponsoring. This is awesome. I love being able to check out the games. Oh, okay. Shave your story. Okay, it got a little, <laughs> it got a little loud all of a sudden. So, <laughs> hey, what the heck? Okay, hold on. Oh, it's really quiet on this screen, but it got louder. Okay, let me just lower it to 50 right now. Okay. There. <laughs> the music's great though, isn't it? Okay, shape your story. Do we want story mode or normal? Okay, normal mode presents a journey where the challenges of combat are matched by the unfolding of the story. It's ideal for players who seek an engaging gameplay experience without missing out on narrative and exploration. Story mode, look at the chicken. <laughs> What's with the chicken? Story mode provides a relaxed gameplay experience emphasizing the narrative and world exploration. It's ideal for players to prefer to focus on the story with minimal combat challenges to hinder their journey. Um, what do y'all think? What, what, what do y'all think we should do? Ooh, I'm excited to make my character. Normal? Okay, let's try normal then. Show us how difficult it is. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll try. We'd love to complete. Sure. That's fine. Collect the data. If I can help you, I, I'll help you. <laughs> Show us how difficult it is. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, there's a lot of options here. Um, ooh, should I do a random name? No, we're just gonna do my name, Kylie. Appearance, boy or girl. Um, races, okay, apparently there are five, I think five races. We got the Ma Mirhan, Icy Ran, Volk, Pale. I'm the Pale Race. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me in real life. I'm pale. A demon? I'll be pale. I'll do pale. Hair? Okay, what kind of hair do I want? Can I like rotate her? Okay, no, no. Ooh, I like this one. It blows in the wind. I like the- Ooh, I like that one. I like this one too though. Oh, bald! Well, they put redheads in the game. <laughs> um, I let's do the long one. I like this one. Okay, let's do. I'm trying to figure out brown. Oh, these are really nice colors, though. Okay, I want to do brown. I color blue. Let's look at the other colors, though. Okay, yeah, I want to do blue. Clothing, warrior's light plate, archer's hunting garb, mage's clo cloth robes, rogue's cloak. Huh, I guess this means like what am, what am I gonna be? 
Why did you look over here for both? <laughs> just showing all the options, just showing all the options, you know how it is. I like the idea of like a long range character. I'm gonna be honest, I usually prefer going mage for games if possible. So maybe either archer or mage. I don't know. I kind of like the archer's outfit a lot more than the, the mage one, though. So why don't we do archer? Weapon. Weapon would be... Look at the rod. Oh, there's different rods. Rods of gust, gravel, bubbles! Flames. Wait, wait. That's kind of cool. Rod of renewal, so that's like a healer. Rod of gloom. What is with all these really cool options for rods? Wait, I want to be a mage. What do we want? Do we want to be like a fire mage and earth? What was the options? Uh, wind, earth, I'm assuming. Uh, water, fire, healing. Or glue. Oh wait, you can highlight over it. Grant skill, damn. <laughs> Practitioners of the dark arts often shape their first scepters using the remains of the, their first victim. So it's like a necromancer. <laughs> nice name. Um, smite. Fire blast. Wait, what did that say? Looks like your adventure is already off to a blazing start. Love that. Hydro blast. Lag blast, a rock solid acquisition for any new wizard. So yeah, kind of just what I want to be. I think I either want to be fire or gloom. Let's do fire. Fire. Let's burn everything up. All right, this is how I want my character to look. So that's appearance, but we also have backstory. We can choose our backstory. Okay, industrialist, legionnaire, and academic. A vagabond, a brute, a disciple, a zealot, a pickpocket. Oh, a pyromaniac. I feel like that's gonna work really well. <laughs> uh, a sharpshooter or a sharpshooter. Okay. Um, it seems like this get determines your skill. So this engineering plus one, swordsman plus one, intellect plus one. Warlock plus one. You cannot learn cleric skills. Hmm. I wonder if you can like merge different things. Oh, zealot. You cannot learn warlock skills. Ah. <laughs> Pyromancer plus one. You cannot learn aeromancer, geomancer, or hydromancer skills. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. I feel like that really limits me. So. What about intellect? What is intellect? I spend most of my days consumed in the archives of the Mazin College, initiating myself into the arcana of flora and fauna and magic. No longer able to tolerate my instructors and their prosaic, insipid lectures, I set out on a journey. Wow. Uh, to my classmates, I appeared impulsive, immature, but how was I expected to study the ancient literature of the lodges while out? There lies such immense virgin wisdom, but a con, but a stone cast from the bounds of civilization. I shall return to the college only after acquiring answers to questions my peers would not go so far as to even ponder, or I shall nay return at all. Dang, okay. Can you choose the backstory and inclination? Oh, I can. It seems this is the inclination. Wait, what is inclination? Hmm. Can you hover over the stat? Uh, yeah, let me see. Like, over this? Doesn't do anything. <laughs> what a rebel! I don't know, what do y'all think? What is constitution, though? Intellect plus one, but you think you're better than everyone else. I know, right? It does sad. It does feel like that. <laughs> Um, should we do a different one? I don't like the idea of sounding better than somebody else. Um, is Constitution HP? Few understand. Constitution is usually like health. Okay. 
If you understand what the life of a wanderer is, in fact, uh, painfully stagnant is when one travels with no destination, they forfeit the concept of progress. In the most meaningful sense, they go nowhere at all. This, eh, I don't want to be a brute. This is cool, but this makes me think that as a mage, I can do healing as well as warlock skills, so I feel like this would really hurt me if I did. Go in. Okay. Alright, well, we'll be back. I guess we'll do that. <laughs> we'll go back to school or something. We'll see. I can choose my own story, right? So, hi, Sarkozy! Alright, altruistic, what better than to serve my fellow man as an adventurer? I will shelter the homeless, feed the hungry, and guard the vulnerable. Above all, I endeavor to spread peace and happiness throughout the realm. Okay, maybe this, maybe my inclination can make this sound better. Okay, that's not, that's not bad. Okay, or I can be ambitious. Here, let's look at all of them. So, we got altruistic, ambitious, curious, a degenerate, a devout, greed, loner, a neophile, a righteous, vengeful, or vengeful. Well, we got a lot of options here. <laughs> De 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 what does degenerate say? One does not need to tell me the odds, for I already know them by heart. The higher the stakes, the more I welcome the wager. Gambling? Heavens no. It's so much more than that. After all, what fun is, is a life without any risk of death? Interesting way for a de degenerate to think. Interesting. Ambitious is era of unprecedented chaos is rife with opportunity as long as one does not fear adversity. Even a nobody like myself can attain fame, fortune, and wealth. To that end, I shall cut down all who stand in my way using any means necessary. Oh, goodness. Um, oh, is the music still loud a little bit? Okay. Here, I'll turn it down on my end. Let me know if that's better. Curious, I want to explore every town and cave and dungeon in this land. Only once I have unraveled each mystery, uncovered every secret, secret will, I be, will I feel content. I like this one. I like curious. I like that. I like it. Devout, as God makes his appeal through I. So too, okay, a little too religious for me. Um, greed, I seek fortune by any means. I want a grand estate and an elven servant. Eleven or elven? We want an elf as our servant. I want mithril armor adorned with precious stones. I want a luxury carriage pulled by the finest seeds. Steeds. Wow. I want, I want, I want. Interesting. A loner. I desire adventure and adventure alone. Camaraderie, camaraderie is but a shallow illusion. A disability which further weakness those vulnerable and impotent. Though I recognize the value in occasionally in occasional allies, prefer to fight alone. Ah, uh, not me. What is this? Neophile? I have neither time nor patience for the bland and mundane. I am always in pursuit of new adventure, whether pleasurable, challenging, or downright horrifying. The chronicle of each journey is a thrill in itself. It kind of sounds like curious to me, sort of. Righteous! The world has fallen into chaos, run rampant by deviance and immoral and unholy. I seek to punish those lacking in honor and decency. And though I cannot expect to right all wrongs, I will stand against injustice for as long as my body shall allow. Woo! Thrill seeker. Yeah, thrill seeker. Um, I have... Okay, this is vengeful. I have become consumed with revenge since learning of my father's death. His party... Reportedly found dead at the outskirts of the fron frontier. When I uncover the perpetrator, whether they're orc, beast, or human, I shall ensure that their bloodline is severed clean. Whoa! I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It gives us a really cool, I don't know, backstory? Mm, love of enthusiasm. Love is new. Neo. Neo means new, so that makes sense. Should we be vengeful and get revenge on our father's death? Let's do that. I want it. We're, we've Not only do we feel better than everybody else, but we're going to go find the person who killed our dad. Let's do it. Attributes. Oh, okay. Whoa, this is super detailed. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I have one point in primary, secondary, and combat. And these are my schools, okay? This makes sense. I also have 
skills. To gain access to skills within any specific school, you must first al allocate at least one point into the particular school. Okay, so first, primary, obviously intelligence, right? Oh, we can highlight. Represents a character's mental acuity and aptitude for magic. Allocating points to this will... Okay, we're going to be a mage, so this makes sense. Um, recommended for spell casting classes. Aeromancer, Geomancer, Hydromancer, Pyromancer, Cleric, and Warlock. Awesome. Okay, secondary. Initiative, Constitution, or Memory. Um, initiative represents a character's swiftness to act. Allocating points to this will increase the likelihood that they will act first in battle, allowing them to dictate the flow of combat. Okay, that's always nice to be able to move first. Hi, Diaz. Sometimes, depending. Constitution represents character's physical fortitude. Allocating points to this will increase their maximum health as the character grows in level so will the amount of health gained through constitution. So, usually mages, some mages are like glass cannons, so their HP is pretty weak. Same with their clothes, so maybe it could be good to get HP. Memory, memory represents a character's capacity to maintain information in the heat of battle. By allocating points to this, they will be able to equip more skills to be used in battle. All three of these are so good. Do I either move first, have more HP, or equip more skills? I feel like equipping more skills would be helpful. So maybe we should try memory. Vengeful fits the backstory. You think so? <laughs> Alright, combat. We'll definitely do wizardry. That makes sense. Um... Uh, while wielding a water staff, they will receive a bonus accuracy, evasion, and damage. Yeah. All right, schools. I want to... I have a fire staff on. Can you dual wield spells? I'm assuming... I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I definitely want to do Pyromancer. Medium range spellcasting school with for powerful fire skills that cause your enemies to burn... Beware, some of the uh, area of effect skills may also damage your allies. Oh. Okay, I'll have to be careful with where we placed fire. Um, what should be my next one? Should we do water? Uh, water, we can chill and freeze enemies. Or provide recovery. Interesting. So I guess it also can heal. Geomancer, mmm... We can, oh, it's AOE attacks. Skills that often damage multiple enemies or fortify your party's defenses. So it's defense as well as AOE. Aeromancer deals damage to single targets and cause them to become shocked. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of options. I, 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 maybe, I, maybe, let's see. Medium range spellcasting school with efficient light skills that can blind enemies or provide great health. Should we go should we go fire cleric? Or should we go fire and water? Because water, I'm assuming it recovers allies just a little bit. Or should we have, because we're gonna be able to get part like party members. They said that we can customize our own party members. So maybe we have like a dedicated healer. So maybe we can have like a dedicated mage, like one that just focuses on um, attacking, but maybe as a backup healer? What does an engineer do? Let's see. Utility school with a range of unique skills that provide various buffs, debuffs, or deploys contraption that allies can use. So it seems like you can place traps down and buff and debuff. That's cool. What is warlock? Hold on. Medium range, powerful dark skills that deal damage, summon minions, and heal, and empower you or your minions. Wow, wait, that sounds great. <laughs> wait, what? That sounds great. It sounds busted. It does, doesn't it? It deals damage, has minions, and heal. How about we be a warlock and a pyromancer? <laughs> Let's do that. That sounds fun. All right, skills. Oh, here we go. So I have three skill points. So I have to choose. 
Okay, um, barrage, launch, launch fireballs, summon slime. Summon a fiery slime to aid you in battle. This one apparently summons minions too. Grant your weapon additional fire damage. Um, grant a character immunity to fire. Um, that sounds great too. Invokes a meteor to damage all characters in an area, causing the ground to become scorched. We can summon meteor. Okay, why don't we do... <laughs> that one sounds good. Um, let's re let's read the necrom or the warlock ones first before we choose any other ones. Unholy infestation infest an allied summon with empowering parasites. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, next one, Infernal Pact. Make an ally sign a contract, granting them temporary power to be paid in blood later. Whoa. Okay. Vampirism. Drain an enemy's health to restore your own. <laughs> I don't know what they mean. Drains allies for HP? I'm assuming maybe your party member? I really don't know. That is good though, being able to take, do damage and, and suck their health away. Enclose an enemy in a, sp uh, a spiny coffin of death. Wow, this works great with vengeful. <laughs> vengeful inclination. Oh my goodness. Um, it does five to 11 dark damage, set bleeding for three turns, resisted by armor. Oh, it's resistant though. What is it? Summon Skeleton Warrior. We should do this. We should get a summon and maybe vampirism. What do y'all think? We can we can summon a meteor, suck their blood and uh, heal, and then have a little skeleton buddy. Does that sound good? All right, what about talents? Okay, we can only choose one. Um, wow, this is so detailed. Okay, so we can be elusive, consistent, a uh, politician, a mineral, uh, a mineralist, a scavenger, interrogator, fleet-footed, medium. Oh, medium, because a ghost, right? Barbarian, logician, lo lo logician, 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 logician. Why can't I say that? And relic hunter. Um, what's elusive? Um, plus ten evasion. Consistent plus 20 accuracy and oh, but minus 20% crit strike chance um, I can inspire people Increases the chance of mining additional ore mm, Not bad 50% chance to recover special arrows. Mm, I don't think that's gonna be good for us. I can be I can intimidate plus three You've always felt like you lacked a certain eloquence with words. In time, you've come to learn how much more effective it is to browbeat a man than to partake in discussion. <laughs> Dang. Walking speed? That's always good. I can communicate with spirits. That's kind of cool. You were once convinced by physicians that the apparitions you saw were caused by a form of psychosis. After one of them led you to a clue instrumental in solving the murder of a little girl, you've since come to fully embrace your illness. Kind of like it. Kind of like that one. Um, I don't know where this will help me in my playthrough, but... Uh, barbarian plus three strength when health is 30% or less. Mm. My intellect is plus three. This could help. This could help me. You are calmer and more rational than your peers. With strongly rooted logic and high awareness, you are able to better perceive circumstance and solve problems. Doesn't sound bad. It definitely would help. Intellect would help with my, you know, healing and magic and whatever. Or my vampirism, I guess I should say. I don't, shouldn't call it healing. Um, or I can increase my luck while looting. Hmm. Your keen sense for valuable artifacts allows you to uncover the secrets of any lockbox or ancient tomb. Leaving everything you care about behind, you set off in search of untold wealth and riches. So, I can either do increased luck, intellect, or be a medium. What do you... Because I feel like... I don't, I don't know. I feel like maybe medium would help me. Like, I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of people, dead people, and we have to figure out why they died. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they could tell me where my dad is. 
Or maybe I can talk to my dad because my dad's the one. What is it? My dad's the one that died, right? I'm trying to avenge his death, so maybe I have to like look, find the bodies of all the people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or should I just help myself out and like just do more damage since I can have intellect? The real reason they left the academy too much garlic in the dining halls? <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. Medium or logician, guys? FN is saying logician. I can't even say it. It's not like I'm saying magician. Logician. Should we go full int? Chat. Chat. Chatterino. I need to go get some more water. I'm like out of my water. Here, I'm gonna be right back. Let me go make let me go get some more water real quick and then help me choose. Give me your feedback, please. Water. <coughs> Full int. Just <clears throat> not character husband. <laughs> Adam. Okay, let's do full int then. I can only choose one. Maybe I can choose more later. So maybe I can do medium later. <sighs> let's do it for my build. Alright, I think that's all. Start! Wow, look, that's me! Ooh, ooh, I'm moving. Ooh, ooh, you can search stuff. <gasps> am I allowed to take it or am I gonna get in trouble? Ooh, it's raining. Oh. Can I take it? Oh, loot, there we go. Oh, shoot. Loot, I got a raw trout. Oh, I can talk to these people. Yeah, maybe we should talk to them. Who is this? Ash, uh, Aska? Aska. Oh, she's cute. Hey, Kylie, how's the voyage treating you so far? Um, I'm already getting seasick. Uh, maybe, who are you? Oh, right, we haven't had a proper introduction yet, have we? I'm Aska from the Forest of Mir. Um, why are you on the ship? So the High Custodian picked me for your expedition to the Mythshade Isles. It's my first mission with the guild and well let's just say the butterflies are real i can't imagine how you're feeling first expedition and you're already leading the charge okay so i'm the leader she's a newbie she looks like she's a healer so this is perfect um <clears throat> yeah we're on a boat we're on a boat um, leadership is in my blood. It caught me off guard, but it's a welcome surprise. I'm eager to make the Heroes Guild proud. Ooh, let's do that one. I know you'll do great. I'll give it everything I've got to help us succeed. I'm already getting seasick. Oh, dear. Let me see if I have anything for you. Oh, what an angel. She gave me a health potion. Here, take this if you're feeling like throwing up, okay? Oh, my goodness. Adorable. I love her. Okay, historian. Oh, you must be Kylie, a strange storm indeed. Um, not recorded in these parts, quite unsettling. Who are you? Thuda, 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 Thuda? Historian of the Heroes Guild. I'm thrilled to join your expedition into the Mistshade Isles. What stories we'll uncover together? What is your role? My role, I'm the historian who travels with the Heroes Guild, documenting every moment, every decision for our records. And of course, I'm here to offer my expertise whenever it's needed. But this, this is something new. Never before have I enjoyed an expedition led by someone so fresh to the guild. It's history in the making. You must have truly impressed the high custodian for her to put you in charge. I've ventured through most lands of the great houses, but none are as veiled in mystery with so few records as the Mistshade Isles. Um, can you tell me more about the Heroes Guild? Heroes Guild. Oh, it's a storied older. Uh, it's a storied old order, 
or older than most can imagine. Anyone with the bravery to step into the unknown can find a place here. We go where we're needed, across the old continent, the new continent, anywhere the great houses call us. Our mission is simple, to be the first line of defense against the evils that others dare not face. It's a legacy of courage written in the blood and sweat of countless adventures. Um, ah, oh, the Midshade Isles, a most intriguing subject indeed. Can you believe that there are no factual records of the island? Only myths and legends persist. Some speak of it being eternally shrouded in shadows. Other whisper that it is the work of devils from the old world. There are even tales of an ancient tribe of elves who guard the place, slaying any who dare approach. Ooh, I hope so. I would love to see some elves. The truth, it, it, the truth, it seems, is veiled in mystery. I must admit, this prospect of uncovering these secrets is most exhilarating. Maybe tell me about the great houses. House Mazan, the masters of the seas we now cross, warriors and tacticians, every one of them. They built an empire on naval power and brutal work, warfare. Once the first to expand onto the new continent found their efforts there met with limited success. Now they have relinquished most of their holdings in the Andra, retaining only a foothold of res at Respite Island, a strategic trading post that stands as a reminder of their past ambitions. House Kaspari, the young lions of the New World, surrounded by enemies on all sides, elves, magicians, and beasts, they forged a kingdom defined by honor and resolve. Their rise has been swift, but they hold their ground with the strength of a house that knows it's destined for greatness. Then there's House Bloodworth, the shadow in the corner of the room. They say that they're not even a proper house, but a criminal syndicate. Their reputation is built on whispers of betrayal and those old tales of vampiric powers. Well, who's to say that's true? They keep to themselves, avoiding the Heroes Guild, and their secrets are as dark as their deeds. Sounds like, a <laughs> Sounds like an interesting house. <laughs> I cannot get over the visuals. The pixel work and idle animations are incredible. They are good, aren't they? Uh, this is the last one. Last House Van Ez, ruling from Essart, um, a, a, a city straddling the bridge network of Jovian Crossing. They've turned their position between rival kingdoms into a thrilling trade center where every merchant has a say. The house may be small compared to others, but their influence is felt far beyond their borders. It's a place where commerce and politics dance hand in hand. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for that. All right, last person, maybe? Or one other person? Iron Fist Artur. Strooms, storms brewing. Hold fast or the seal take what's left of ya. Who are you? Artur, the Iron Fist. Knight of the Heroes Guild. Once before ye, ye were out of swaddling cloth. It brings you aboard this ship. Same as you, head into Miss Shade Isles. Just returned from an expedition on Kaspari lands, and now the High Custodian has seen fit to stick me as your minder. Best we stay out of each other's way and get on with it. What's the purpose? Listen, kid, the details would turn your guts inside out. Best leave it be. I can see you're green as grass. Heh. Those orc savages have you running back to your mama in no time. Okay. Well, all right. All right. He seems like he knows what to do. Oh, I can sleep this a flag bearing the emblem of the heroes guild okay what about this lucid Ooh, hello lucid yes kylie how may i assist you who are you <laughs> lucid Longguard. i'm here as part of your expedition to the miss shade isle sent by the high custodian my blade is yours to command i will uphold my duty with honor okay all right seems like we have two warriors then Lucid taps a spot on the chart with precision. Here, just east of Respite Island, the last known stronghold of House Mazan within the Andra. Oh, we can show me. That's where we are right now. Okay. How much longer do you think it will take to reach the shores? Three days at sea, hugging the southern shore of Respite before we break west into open waters. With any luck, we'll avoid the storms and anything worse that might be lurking. What can you tell me about the Andra? Andra? This land you see, colonized by the great houses over a century and a half ago. House Mazan's grip 
has weakened their power reduced to a single settlement on Respite Island. Look here on the charts. East of Respite is Mistshade Isle, where a light was seen falling from the sky. That's where we're headed. The main expanse of this new continent is dotted with small settlements, mostly under the banner of House Kaspari. House Van Es holds a foothold here at Jovian's Crossing, and House Bloodworth, they've staked their claims here, here, and here, though they prefer to keep to themselves. As you can see, this land remains largely untamed. Colonization has been no easy feat. Beastmen, orcs, hostile dwarven clans, and ancient elven tribes. The Andra is a place where anything can and will try to kill you. Fantastic. You should probably get rest below deck while you can. Whoa, a wizard! Sir, don't take my job. I'm the wizard here. Garain? Garain? I need a notebook. <laughs> don't worry about the names. It'll be fine. It'll probably make sense later. Uh, this is no ordinary storm. There's a darkness in the air. Something sinister that stirs beneath, beneath the waves. Who might you be? I'm Grain, elementalist wizard and master of the elemental schools, a servant to the primal forces that dwell within the world. The Heroes Guild knows my name, as do the elements. I accidentally clicked. My studies have delved into the very essence of nature's forces, and it is, dis and it is through disciplined mastery that I command the elements themselves. I am here not by chance, but by the pursuit of knowledge and the safeguarding of those who walk this perilous path. Okay, he sounds like he's going to be a better mage than me, but we'll see. What are your elemental schools of magic? What are the elemental schools? They are the ancient paths to dominion over the very forces that shape our world. Pyromancy, where flame becomes a weapon of wrath and renewal. Aromancy, bending the winds and skies to one's will, a force as subtle as it is deadly. Geomancy, mancy, the power to command the earth, to rend the very bones of the world and hydromancy, the mastery of water, life's essence, and death's cold embrace. These are not mere tools. They are the essence of creation and destruction, wielded by those who dare to understand the true nature of power. Huh. What makes this storm unusual? This storm reeks of something far beyond nature's whim. At, even without the instincts of a sailor, I can feel the dark magic woven in it to its very woven into its very fabric the air crackles with unnatural energy and the clouds gather i clicked again <laughs> sorry dude i'm clicking all around this is no mere squall it is a force shaped by hands unseen perhaps to deter us or worse to draw us in such storms do not arise without reason and whatever conjured it does not intend for us to pass through unscathed what brings you aboard the ship my destination is the same as yours, the Mythshade Isles, a place where shadow lingers and maps offer a little guidance. The High Custodian, in their wisdom, has sent me alongside you, Kylie, not to leave, but to ensure that you do not face these perils alone. Okay, so we have we have a lot of awesome people in there. We have like a, a swordsman, two swordsmen. I'm assuming we get to choose. We're a wizard. And the other girl looked like she was a cleric or a healer. Um, and then I don't know the other guy. The other guy just has a book and he records stuff. So I <laughs> don't know what he would do. I've walked many paths in the service of the Heroes Guild. And though you are to command this and courage in my council may yet prove the difference between survival and oblivion. Okay, goodbye. Tread carefully. Will do. Should we go talk to the, 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 the ship captain? Oh, it looks like I can't. Okay, well, let's sleep then. Sleep. Surely nothing bad will happen. Hi, Orca. You close your eyes. As you begin to fall asleep, you feel yourself being pulled into a mysterious void. Oh. What is this? Oh, are we dreaming? Oh, I think we're having a nightmare. Oh, God, what's this? Fallen foot soldier. Ooh, small health potion. Loot. I don't know if I can keep items in my dreams, but who knows. Oh, there's nothing in here. What is this button? Oh, oh gosh. Kylie, you're just in time. You can stop the Magus Temporis. Ah! Oh my god! What happened? You have anything on you? Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
let's go this way. <laughs> oh boy. Fire everywhere. This is it for me. May the gods have mercy on us all. Whoa! Captain, no! Oh my god! So dramatic. Holy cow. Do you have anything on you? Nope. It probably was burned to smithereens. What about you? Okay, nope. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> Do I... Oh, here's my inventory. Oh, a gift from dad! What? Family heirloom handed to you by your father before you set off on your journey. Wow, pays to be vengeful. Wow, plus one constitution. What is it? Scroll of resurrection. Use skill resurrect. Okay. Silver. Okay, got that stuff. What is that? A potato? I'll take it. What about this guy? Some silver. Okay, you know, he ain't gonna do anything with that money. I'm assuming so. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Leora. <gasps> or Leora. Leo, 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 Leora. I don't know Leora. Leora. He's turned against us, Kylie. The echoes of his betrayal ripple through time. The dark, the true darkness stirs its hunger unending. What lies ahead may be bound in shadow already. But the sands of time are still in motion, flowing with each breath. The path remains unfixed, with the past and future waiting for a hand to shape them. Our friends, our world, Kylie, all stand at the precipice. If we tread the, if we tread the same ground again, we may lose everything. Okay, well that wasn't vague at all. What? I mean, that's typical dream-like narration, right? <laughs> wow! What the? What? I have to fight this thing? Nether Shadow. It's your turn. While it's your turn, you can move or cast a skill. Um. Okay, let's see. There's dash. Instantly grants additional movement points, enabling extended move. Oh, I don't want to accidentally click it. Enabling extended movement on your turn. Okay, let's see. So we got. I'm trying to learn here. Okay, so we got this. These are my movement points. So I have three right now. And I have four action points. Turn yourself to face a different direction. Um, I have fire blast. Launch a pair of fireballs at a target enemy. I also have meteor, which I, I got. Um, summon skeleton. Maybe we should summon a skeleton? Should we summon a skeleton right now? Then he can immediately... Now we have two versus... There are literally three versus one right now. You have a lot of int. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Oh, wait. Where's my int? Where is my... Eh. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. <laughs> um... It only says int one right here, but but we did sign up for a lot of stuff, so okay. Interesting. All right, let's do summon skeleton. Um, I don't know. Here, target out of range. Here, there. He can go attack that guy, and I'll go attack this guy. Oh. Okay, so that's on cooldown. I can't do it for another 12 turns. Wow, that's a 12 turns? Jeez, okay. Um, I guess I can't really do anything. So maybe I should just end my turn? I want this guy to come to me. I don't want to come to him. Oh, it looks like there's different... But we can set different things down here. Um, how do I end my turn? Settings. What is this? A grimoire? Oh, okay. What is this? Oh, these are just my... Okay, that's my quest journal. And it's my inventory. Um... There. 
dark slash. Oh jeez, I did a lot of damage. What? It attacked twice? Wait, I think that was only armor. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Okay, the skeleton can attack. All right, what should we make the skeleton do? All right, let's see. Slash, unleash might, release the hidden power within you. <laughs> okay, parry, enter a stance which deflects the next melee attack. This only costs one, so maybe we'll do that. And then what is this one? Crippling blow. Attack an enemy dealing bonus damage if they are inflicted with fear, paralyzed, stunned, or ensnared. This is four to nine physical damage, and this one's... F Why don't we do slash? Because I don't think there's going to be... They're, they don't have any of those inflictions. So he could slash this one. And he has one more thing, so we'll do a parry. There we go. Alright. Um... He can move, but I don't think I'm gonna make a move. So we'll just in turn. And then me, what I can do. <laughs> I could use a meteor, but that would hurt him. Because it's like an AoE, right? But it, be it makes him become scorched. So maybe I can do that after. Check how big it is. Yeah. So if I place it here, can y'all see the little red outline? Um, it looks like it's like a three by three. And what about this? I can definitely hit this guy, but it's only two to four. Oh, wait, it's two hits. So it could either be four or eight damage. That's not bad. Remember friendly fire, yeah. My ex- Oh, your brain is excited by the comment already. I'm glad! Exclamation mark guild soccer for those that are wanting to get more information. That is the link to their Steam page. Please, please go wishlist it. This game is not out yet. It comes out October 10th. Um, my HP is good, so I don't need to do that. Okay, so let's do- Let's just do Fire Blast for now. Fire blast. Oh, out of range. Okay, hold on. So I guess I need to move. Wow. Maybe I didn't need to move this close. Here, what if I go here? Um, oh, I can do it again. Okay. Also, okay, here we go. So their armor is 12 out of 12. Magic barrier, 0 out of 5. Health, 32 out of 40. Okay, so when he got hit, I think it was just his armor that got hit. Well, his health is down a little bit. Okay, all right, in turn. Oh, maybe I should have walked further away. Okay. Why, why isn't he parrying? I made him parry. What's going on? Oh boy, his HP is really low. <laughs> um, it was only the first hit. Oh, it did parry, but it was only one hit. Oh, I thought it was multiple hits. Darn. Okay, well, let's attack this guy. And then I guess... Oh, we can't parry again! What is this? Release your hidden power within you. Set might for two turns. Whatever. Oh wait, could I have casted that on me? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna make him get out of here because next it will be my turn and then I can cast Meteor and it'll hit both of them. You should've just used it at the start. Oh. It's okay, I'm learning. Cool, now they're in the fire. Um I don't know I don't know where to go. Maybe I should like go back here. 
I have one more action point left, but I can't do anything. Ah, my skeleton! Oh my gosh! He just teleport! Are you kidding me? Ah! These guys have so much HP. <gasps> That's creepy. Rigged! Okay, I can't do the meteor again, and I can't summon another skeleton. How much HP do... Oh, my HP is still fine, so I don't need to do this yet. This costs two points. All I can do is fire blast. Oh, you're right. They're floating. This wouldn't do any damage against them. You're right. Well, it still damaged both of them, right? This guy has 36 HP. This guy has 20, 25. I'm going to focus on the one that has less HP. Ah, oh, he's so close to dying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if y'all have any helpful things... I don't play I don't play games like this very often, so if y'all have any ideas, please let me know. We can work together. <gasps> what is that? Burning. Oh my goodness. Ow. Do I have anything that I can I have this health potion. Does plus 15 health. Doesn't restore burning though. Use my vampirism. We can. How how many action points does it take to use? Oh, it uses one. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's do that on. Should we do this on the guy that has more HP? Let's see. How much HP does this guy have? Ten to forty, and this does four to seven. Okay. So let's just do this anyway. I suck your blood. <laughs> There we go. It decreased to three. So I got I got three HP. Wow. Um, okay, so I have so it looks like I can do one more fire blast and I can heal with a potion. So let's kill this guy. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? He has one HP left. Unlucky. All right, and then we'll use a uh, HP potion. Okay, look at my health now. Look at that, thirty-five out of thirty-seven. I know, unlucky. I'm gonna move out of the way. I don't know, <laughs> even though they're gonna follow me. <laughs> ah! Why do you do that? Oh, maybe I should have made me made myself turn. So, well, maybe I should have done that. Ow. All right. Okay, I'm thinking here. Should we do, how about we do one fire blast to kill the guy with one HP? And then I can either attack, no, I think I should heal again, right? I have only one more HP potion. So maybe we should do that. Okay, where's the guy that has one HP? This guy. Please die. Thank you. Then, let's use this. I have no more HP potions to fight that boss, though. There. <laughs> I have, uh, let's see. I have, I have 29 out of 37. I could eat this apple. Should I eat this apple? It only costs one. I have one more spot. It only it, it only heals for five percent though. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, right? Like, I as well. Okay. Okay. Now I'm at thirty-one out of thirty-seven. Freaking typical. My rolls. He does probably more damage because I'm hitting him, or he's hitting me from behind. So. Huh, okay. 
I only have three, so I can't even go behind him if I wanted to. Man, his HP is so high, it's 36 out of 40. Um, and he also has three more things of armor. Should I cast my meteor since it's five to 10? Put your back to a wall. Yeah, that would be smart. Or maybe like... Yeah, maybe here. Should I cast, should I cast a meteor? Let's see, this is three and this is two. So I can either do two fire blasts. Maybe two fire blasts would be better than meteor because we don't need scorched. Yeah, maybe this is better. This would be more damage. Well, maybe. <laughs> there's potential of, yeah, there's potential of a lot more max damage, but let's see. Okay, I did six there. And four, eight there. So, okay. All right, let's turn that way. So my back is facing this pole. <laughs> Don't kill me! I only just started! Ah! It hurts! Okay, what is his A22? Will I be able to survive this? How much does the fish give me? Plus 5% health. Should we do one fire blast and eat both of these food pieces? I mean, this is supposed to be a dream, so maybe we're not supposed to survive our dream. I'm not sure. I also have this. <laughs> oh, I have a potato! Oh, it's still, it's 5%. <laughs> There's no way, yeah, I know. Okay, so how about we fireball? Okay, three, four. Okay. Four is the max, by the way, per, per hit, so. Um, do I eat two things of food or just do, dam just do damage? What's my health at? 12? I'm at 12. Let's do damage. Oh, you're right. I can do this. Nice. Plus four, damage four. Not bad. Okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't turn. Seven! Ow. Oh, shoot. I died. <laughs> Ow, it's the burn that got me. The air thickens, oppressive, as if the shadows themselves lean in closer. A presence stirs, not in sound, but in the very fabric of your thoughts. Weaving itself through the cracks of your mind, it feels as though the darkness speaks without words, thoughts without voice, a dream half remembered. The flames of this world are fed by secrets and lies, ignited by those who play with time as if it were their puppet. Uh, Thevry, a chronomancer, a master of illusions hiding his true face behind layers of shifting shadows. Betrayal is not a choice for him. It is a woven into his very being as natural as the breath he takes. Uh, narrator, the pressure builds within a throbbing ache that pulses from the depths of your mind as if something stirs from within you. It burns, not with heat, but with the searing intensity of a dream that slips through your grasp. The sensation crawls across your skin like fire that isn't there, yet every word spoken seems to ignite deeper, resonating in the marrow of your bones, impossible to extinguish. Ooh, the narration's really good. <laughs> um, the flames that threat... Oh, this is the dream. Oh, so this thing is talking. Sorry, I literally didn't pay attention here. Okay, this thing's talking. The flames that threaten this world are not what they seem. Together, we could smother them before they consume all... Misled, you wander in darkness, hero. The ruin that plagues your kind is not of my making, but of another's design. In the Isles of Shadow, the, tru the truth festers, waiting to be uncovered. Uh, Tear Otho Otho's desires will see this world reduced to cinders if left unchallenged. 
Okay, see, I wasn't supposed to be successful, but we brought one down, and the other one was going to die if he hadn't done that one skill on me. You awaken from the nightmare only to find yourself in another. <laughs> that entity is poetic as heck. <laughs> I know. Tossed from your ship and ensnared in some sort of spherical prison, you're caught in a wild dance amidst the ocean's roaring waves like a feather in gale. As the air within the confinement diminishes, your consciousness becomes lost to the grip of suffocation. Oh, so we're underwater. Oh my god! Oh, we were underwater. We're saved. Whoa, look at the dog! Oh my god, the dog's name is Boots. You open your eyes to find yourself standing amidst a camp of pilgrims going through their rituals. You try to recall how you got here, but your memories are a blur. Look at chicken. Look at a little chubby chicken. Between the woven lies. You should seek out your fellow guildmates, Aska and Lucit, to learn more about what transpired. Wow, I like how this looks. Look at the dog. First, we need to pet the dog. Woof woof. Um, yes. You pet boots. Oh, woof woof. <laughs> you can pet the dog. What about the chicken? No. Merchant? What about the merchant? You notice a red skinned man holding onto a wooden long staff that has been planted firm into the soil, flanked by carts neatly stocked with an ele electric mix of weapons, armor, scrolls, and knickknacks gathered from all over. He is undoubtedly a man of commerce. You see a number of artifacts that pique your interest and begin waving your fingers about as you run, th run through wild, imprecise budget calculations in your head while attempting to peer under the dark guise of his hood to surmise if he had dozed off. He gestures at you with one free hand, beckoning you to approach him. Greetings, adventure. Are you perchance in need of anything in particular? Ask to see his wares. Please take as long as you need. Okay. Oh, wow. He has a lot. Um, cool. So it looks like we can haggle in the game. He has some potions. <gasps> Dang it! I used up my potions in my dream! No! <laughs> or maybe they never existed to begin with. Who knows? Um, how much are these? 20? Or does he have 20 to sell? Oh, it costs 360 silver. Oh, holding down control. Okay. Okay. How about one? It costs 18. I can't even afford a single <laughs> HP potion. There's armor potion, magic barrier potion, water resistant potion, a pickaxe, um, some armor... That do different things. Quiver. A bonnet. Ooh, a wizard hat. A hat of hydromancy. Oh, look, a hat of pyromancy. Ooh. How much is that? 108? Okay, we should get that when I have money. And there's a, what is this? Energy sphere? Okay. Spectre revealing lantern. Plus two to cleric. That's cool. All right, farewell. I need to go use the restroom real quick, chat, and then we'll keep talking to him. So one second. Recruit a healer for sure, 100%. <laughs> uh, my vampirism is great, but not good enough to heal, that's for sure. All right, I'll be right back, one second.
Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Who looks like a healer? There's a lot of people here. Um, I don't know if I... I'm not going to keep talking to the merchant. I want to keep talking to other people. This guy looks mysterious. You call out to the hooded man, but he ignores you. Oh, okay. What about this guy? Brother... <gasps> Brother guy in... Oh, he looks like a healer. The man stood tall with impeccable posture and unwavering confidence, stirring in you mild feelings of insecurity. Though dressed unassumingly, his weathered, battle-scarred hands silently divulge his seasoned history on the battlefield. His open demeanor among his fellow pilgrims makes him seem unguarded, but you gradually discern that his gaze has been fixated on you from the very moment you began approaching him. The man calls out to you with a booming voice. Greetings! The name is Gaian. Welcome to our camp adventure. You and your friend really had us worried. We found you barely conscious in the jungle. Another moment you'd have been, uh, reix, re, reix, how do I say that? Rexite dinner? Maybe that's a monster. Now then, what can I do for you? Uh, what is your role? The past traveled by pilgrims is arduous and laden with perils. Ferocious monsters no single man may subdue. Bandits in numbers I, can, I can't even count up to. And damned bone warriors who refuse to die and, st and stay still. All those evils require maces in their faces. Ooh, that rhymes. And somebody's got to train these pilgrims to use them. Aye, so I guess you could say I'm in charge of security around here. Ha ha! Alright, maybe say, is there a way I can repay you for your help? Don't mention it, it's only natural to lend a hand when someone's in need. So I'm guessing you'll be heading back out there soon, eh? Uh, three of our own, Hans, Mayak, and Gerha, left a couple of days ago to find a way to, Gla to Gladeheim, the nearest town. But I'm worried we haven't heard a word from them since. Okay. Maybe they've run into a bit of trouble and just need a hand getting free. If you got a moment, would you mind searching the jungle for them? I'll keep an eye out for them. Thank you kindly. Um, who do I need to talk to? Okay, it looks like this is the main... Oh yeah, loose it. Okay, let's, let's focus. Oh look, and there's that girl. Okay, I forgot her name. A Asuka? Asuka? Where, where's the wizard? It's a relief to see you up and standing. I would rather not endure this journey without capable company at my side. We escaped by the skin of our teeth. If not for these pilgrims finding us on the beach, I fear we wouldn't be speaking now. I'm glad you're safe too. Thank you, but it seems only the three of us were pulled from the wreckage. <gasps> Everybody else died. What about the warrior? There was like another warrior and then a wizard. Maybe because I'm the wizard. <laughs> So he died. Oh, that's unfortunate. We can only pray the rest of our company found a way to survive. What happened to the ship? My memory is hazy at best. You were, blo you were below when the storm struck, tearing our ship apart. I recall the roar of splintering wood and the blackness of the ocean and nothing until waking up here with you and Aska. We are undoubtedly on Respite Island, the nearest haven from our known position. These pilgrims have extended us kindness, but we mustn't overstay. Oh, look, he joined my party. The mission remains bef before us. Lead on, Kylie. I'll guard your back. We can still see this through, and perhaps we'll find our missing allies as we go. Oh, so maybe they're not dead. Party members, your party is shown on the left side with their respective stats and status effects. Click a portrait to click control to that of that character. Oh, look. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so this is what he can do. Cool. He controls lightning. That's cool. It seems like he's also an aeromancer. Interesting. All right, let's talk to... Oh. Oh! Oh, I can control him. Oh, cool. All right, let's talk to her. As you approach the girl slumped on the bench, you notice her hunched over, clearly unwell, retching into a bucket. It's at... Oh, I thought she was eating. It's Aska, your companion from the Heroes Guild. She was with you on the ship, but the unsettling question gnaws at you. How did either of you end up here? Ugh. Hey, Kylie. Look at me, sitting here like a beached fish. Not my finest hour, huh? She's so pretty. She's so cute. I love her. Um, it's quite fascinating, really. I must, have, I must have gulped down enough salt water to keep a sea monster hydrated. Not my best decision. 
Boy, am I glad to see you. That storm really tossed us around, didn't it? Thought we were all going to end up lost at sea. Uh, there you are. Feeling better? Take your time if you need it. Aw, look how nice we are to her. What the heck? Oh, she joined our party. Hold on, let me move my... Let me move this down a little bit. Seems like we have three people in a party right now. Love her already? I know, right? Aw, that's sweet of you. I'm all right now. Just needed to get all that seawater out. It was a rather peculiar way of making itself known, doesn't it? Ooh. Talent acquired? Wild heart? What? While Asuka is in your party, you can speak with and understand the animals of the world? Many op- What? Many often have valuable information, items, or even quests to share. An animal would have a quest? What? I love that. Wait, let's go make her talk to this chicken. Or maybe not that chicken. Maybe this chicken? Oh my god, she can talk to the chicken. The matriarch's cooking is simply extraordinary. <laughs> what about the dog? New friend? I sniff. Sniff, sniff. I check. Good friend, yes. Who's a good boy? <laughs> She can talk to animals. I love this. Who, who, Boots? Boots is good. Best boy, best Boots. Why do they call you Boots? Master says Boots eats Boots. But no, no. Boots just nibble. Little nibble. Okay, okay. Boots eat Boots. Uh, boots love Boots. You got Boots? <laughs> How are you doing? Good. No, great. Wait. No, bad? No good. No, wait. Boots sad. Ball broken, no more fun. Boots miss ball. Master gave ball, so boots chew ball. Not boots. But now, ball broken. Like all boots, boots bite. But ball, boots love ball. Long shacks throw far. Boots always get. Boots always bring back. Best at it. <laughs> How can I help with that? <laughs> we need to get his ball back. Fix for boots? Hans, Boots friend, always fix. Boots chew, Hans fix, always. Maybe new friend fix for Boots? Um, leave it to me. <laughs> this is so cute. Yes, yes, new friend help Boots. Boots help friend. Here, take ball, fix ball. Is it fixed? Please fix for Boots. Pet the dog. Oh, yes, yes, Boots like it. Boots like, loves that. Continue to pet him. Oh, yes, just right. But you can just keep petting him. More, more! Boots' excitement peaked after the furious bout of petting, causing him to collapse to the ground in joyful exhaustion. Okay, I've got to go. <laughs> That's really cute! I want to talk to this chicken. Oh, it looks like I can't get to it, so never mind. Um, okay. Uh, who's Hans? Hans apparently will fix his ball. Um, maybe maybe they're not in this area then? I don't know. Here, we, maybe we should talk to the elder. She looks important. The old woman stands crooked, sustaining her posture with an... Uh, whoa, what? An ebo naric scepter? At first glance, she appears fragile and infirm, but as you make your approach, begins to... As you make your approach, begins to disclose the expression of a resolute young adventurer. <clears throat> the elder's gilt robes, exceptional amongst the haggard umbral, um, umber rags that convey about the campsite, denote a position of prestige and authority within the sect. This does not come as a surprise. In opposition to her gaunt physical appearance, her physical presence, she possesses a spirit. In naming the zeal of the founders themselves. Oh my gosh. She speaks to greet you with a rough but firm voice. Greetings, hero. We are honored to have your company as we embark on our voyage. Where am I? You find yourself at the campsite of Ogier's emissaries bound for the Misshade Isles to honor the fallen Veglionir. <laughs> Who? We shall gather at this remain at his remains and pray for Ogier's sanctuary, for no one knows of the consequence that befell him when he beloved, when his beloved Equine was ripped from the sky that day. Okay. Uh, oh, I can ask for healing? 
These weary bones must don't muster magic as well these days, but a simple recovery spell should still be well within my ability. Should your party require healing at any time, please, please feel free to approach me. Whoa! Wow, that was cool. Okay. What is her skills? Okay, look. She is a healer. Okay, so she has prayer. Vines. Fortify. A trap. And a shot. So she's like ranged and heal. And he is like uh, lightning and a swordsman. <laughs> um, can we talk to her? If everyone planted carrots instead of fighting, the world would be a much better place, don't you think? Ah, fellow gardener. Ah, hello there. You must be one of those heroes, right? Everyone was so worried that we found you almost passed out. Thank the stars you're all right. Do you have anything for someone feeling seasick? I remember when I first got here. It didn't feel good for days, but they say little water and lemon does wonders, so maybe that'll help. Oh, lemonade! We don't have much, but here, take this. I hope it makes you feel better. It seems like talking to people is really good because then you give, get items. Okay, let's keep... Let's keep talking. Who are you? My name is Mora, elder of Ogier's emissaries. Who is Ogier and Beglalala? Oh, you wouldn't want to endure such a lengthy tale, would you, child? Um, a brief summary, please. <laughs> Veg Veglianir, the mare of light, was no ordinary steed, child. She belonged to Ogier, the chosen knight of Aldric the Radiant. Together they were the bridge between shadow and light, and their bond is sacred as the god they served. It has been many lifetimes since the fall of a rider of light. Dark times indeed. Ogier and Veglianir protected us from the encroaching shadows, their light a beacon of hope. But that light was taken from us, and now we are left to wander in their absence. Oh. We march now to the Mistshade Isles, where their light was last seen. There we shall honor their memory and pray to Aldric to grant us a new protector, one who can stand against the darkness as they once did. Hmm. You seem certain they both have perished. I felt it, child. Not as one feels a fleeting thought, but as a shiver that courses through the marrow. It came to me in a dream so palpable I could swear it was reality itself. I stood beneath the sky, splintered by shadows, and watched as they fell. Each light extinguished as though the stars themselves mourned their passing. This was no mere dream. It was a vision, a harbinger carried by the whispering winds of destiny. It's some good writing. Okay, um, let's see. What about this person, Aaliyah? Would you like to try feeding the chickens? Don't worry, they don't bite. Just a bit peckish, that's all. <laughs> Intimidate. No, they better. They'd be, they'd be better off in tonight's stew. Wait, why? Why would you say that? That's not me. That's funny. Here, feed the chickens. Aren't they just lovely? They give us eggs and a bit of joy clucking about like they own the place. Simple, but good-hearted like the best of us. That's adorable. I can't talk to the chicken. Oh, that they. I did. It just said that. Okay. Who's this? Sorcerer Carith. The man in white robes stood out from the pilgrims in the camp who were dressed in dr drably colored rags. You peg him as a sorcerer of sorts as everything about his appearance screamed magic. From his pointy conical to the time-worn scriptures on his back, along with an exquisitely manufactured rod. You get the sense that he has been eyeing your every move since you woke up. However, he seems to be staring in, in, in another direction each time you turn to face him. Why, hello there, adventurer. Um, who are you? Kareth, at your service, just a sorcerer from the old continent, seeking to expand my arcane knowledge in these distinct, distant lands. I arrived at respite with this group of Ogier devotees, though their faith and mine differ greatly. While they seek divine signs, I'm here drawn to the Mistshade Isles to investigate the reports of the falling light. They claim it's the Pegasus Ogier who flew, who fell from the sky, but I suspect something far more intriguing. Hmm. We could really use a sorcerer in our party? Should I invite him? But I'm the sorcerer! We're gonna have so many mages in this party! But, like, what else do we need? Like, we have... We have a healer. We do have a healer. She's the healer. 
Or she had one healing spell. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know how long the cooldown is. She was a ranger and a healer. She was kind of like both. And then he, the other, this guy, he's a swordsman and like an aromancer. So he can like summon lightning and stuff. <laughs> I'd go for the Claire. I mean, she's already in the party, though. She's already in my party. How about I, like, look around more before I say, hey, come join my party. How about that? What can you tell me about the falling light? Ah, I see the subject intrigues you as well. While our camp leavers think it's the Pegasus Ogier that fell, I remain skeptical. Yet I'd be lying if I said my curiosity wasn't piqued. Whatever it was that descended from the heavens, it must be something of great power. We're on our way to Mishade Isles as well. Then perhaps our paths will cross again, adventure. Miss Shade Isles, a land shrouded in mystery for ages, where even the high wizard of Alentor dared not tread. Whatever power lies hidden there, it is not meant for a common sorcerer to discover. Maybe anything worth trading? Oh my god. He has some scrolls. Cool. So it seems like maybe even if I'm not a healer or whatever, I can still use these scrolls. Wow, he has a lot. How much is, um, one? Thirty-eight? Can I offer, like, you know? <laughs> I think I would rather buy a health potion. No offense. I don't think I can afford that. Um, she looks like a druid. No, you're right. Okay, here, how about we ask him? I don't think it hurts. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't think that's a good idea. The cost is teeming with guards on alert and pirates on the hunt. I must, I much prefer the inconspicuous, inconspicuousness of my fellow pilgrims, since you seem to be the sort that attracts more attention than necessary. No offense to you, of course. Never mind. Fine. I don't want you in my party anyways. What is this? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, I can make recipes? Okay, what about a potato and an apple? You don't need a recipe to craft. Try experimenting with different combinations. Question, do I have to have five ingredients to make something? Or maybe it doesn't matter. What about, oh, potatoes and fish? Fish and chips? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it didn't work. But, oh, I didn't lose my items. Oh. You can purchase recipe books from merchants if experimenting isn't working out for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, it didn't work. What about one, two, three? No. Well, at least you don't lose your items. That's nice. Try potato only. Okay. No. Eh, okay, maybe I do have to have five items. Okay, let's go talk to this merchant. Um, maybe we should ask him questions. Who are you? I'm a merchant traveling with the children of Ogier, the band of pilgrims you see before you. The name is Sumi Sumin. What do you do here? I ply the wares you see behind me on behalf of the pilgrims, sharing my knowledge of the world and experience in mercantilism, both of which they uh, distressfully lack. In return, I receive food, shelter, safety, a, f a share of the profits, and a life free from judgment from those who choose to see my kind as a plague. What brings you to Respite Island? As you may have heard from the others, we are en route to the Andra for purposes of mourning the Pegasus Veglionir, Ogier's beloved seed who has fallen to causes unknown to us. Should Ogier's so sorrow remain unquelled, the realm may be torn asunder by turmoil and destruction the likes of which this era has yet to witness. Okay. Let's see what he sells again. Does he sell? It doesn't sell any recipe books. I do. I want to tr I want to try to get a health potion. Like just one. 18. What, what about 13? Oh, no. What? I don't want to give him anything else. Never mind. Never mind. What about, what is that, what does the lemonade do? Oh, 10% health. Oh, 10, plus 10 magic barrier. And plus one con, okay. I'll hold off for now. Do I want to sell the food? I don't want to sell my food. 
Potato, salt, broccoli, cheese, and bacon. Um, <laughs> that's a good that's a good recipe. But I don't have any of that. Darn it. Already hoarding. Well, I'm new. Now then, what can I do for you? Uh, why did you join the pilgrims? I, I used to be a soldier and a dang good one at that. But alas, the life of a soldier is no longer for a man of my age. I much prefer the leisurely pace of a horse-pulled carriage and the comfort of warmer, gentler folk. If you catch my drift, ha ha ha. If advice on the battlefield is what you seek, then I'm your man. Can you teach me more about battle? Of course. Now, what is it you want to know? Um, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Did you mention a wreck site? Aye, wreck sites. Nasty little buggers, aren't they? The small ones won't hesitate to rip your arm off. But the big ones, uh, you're, you'd best hope you never see one. The whole jungle's crawling with them. Bloodthirsty bees have us pinned down good. Okay. Well, that's intimidating. Okay, I don't think there's anybody else I can talk to. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Party stash. This is your party stash. Store your items here for safekeeping and access them from a stash, a stash chest at any camp. You can send items to your stash. Mm, I don't know what that said. Um, but hopefully it's okay. Um... Uh, something about sending your stash, so that's good. That apple is going to be there until the end. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can talk to anybody else, so... <laughs> let me highlight... Wait, I talked to this... Oh, yeah, that character wanted to ignore me. Talk to... Talk to her. Can't talk to him. Alright, let's leave. Travel. <gasps> wow! Okay, so... We were here. This is the pilgrim camp. Camp. I'm guessing this. Excuse me. This is the beach that they found us. Seems like we need to go to Sunlit Woodlands. Maybe we're heading to this area over here. Let's go there. Whoa. <gasps> A mushroom. We can't get it. Ooh. Beehives. <gasps> Poison essence. A magical essence of poison used in spell weaving. Do not inhale. <laughs> okay. Yoink. Okay, what, where should we go? Should we go south or should we go northwest? Ooh, what's this? Crafting. Oh, we can craft whenever. Oh, but we need... Oh, okay. We would need something. Also, how do I open my journal again? Um, we have these quests. Remember, we have to help him fix his ball. Um, I must find some sticky material and someone skilled at crafting to put the broken ball back together. Um, and then I need to f find these people. These were the people that are lost. And I believe the person that the dog said, Hans, is the one that would fix his ball. Where am I on the map? I'm right here. So I literally just went south. So I can either go south, I guess, to the beach, or maybe northwest, northwest heads to the town. But we are needing to find the pilgrims, so I don't know. Okay, what's our main objective? Investigate the meaning behind the dream and uncover any connections to the real world. Um, and then light beyond horizon. Find a route to Gladheim, the main port town of the island. So I think we should go down here. Ooh, I love how this looks. Ooh. Oh, ooh, they're animals, so we can make her talk to them. Greetings, human. Who are you? I am Mimo, and as you can see, I am very high up. Greetings, human. What are you doing all the way up there? I'm looking for a thing of great importance to my family that has been taken away. Climbing up high on this dead rock person will help me see further. Dead rock person? Don't you mean Golem? No, that's a silly name. That doesn't mean anything. Humans are so unclever. I bet they'll never get past my intelligence quiz. I could probably solve the quiz. Oh, a confident human. No surprises there. You can take the quiz, but don't blame me if your feelings get hurt. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Heck, <laughs> I am ready for um intel intelligence quiz now. 
<laughs> what is this? Good, a brave woman. Unclever, but brave. Let's begin. Question one, what has one eye but cannot see? A needle? A needle. A needle? Chat, help me. A needle, right? Because you put the thread through the needle and it looks like an eye. I don't know what a beholder is. That seems like somebody that has an eye. Let's do a needle. Impressive. Haha. -ha. For a human, that is. Question two. What is yours but is used more often by other people? Oh, a name. <laughs> a taxi? <laughs> Wait, this is cool. Beholder has lots of eyes depending on the type. Oh, okay. Um, a name. Well, obviously. Final question. What can make any wish come true? Hard work and determination. Dreams. A genie trapped in a lamp. Seven dragon balls? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, how should I answer this question? <laughs> should we do seven Dragon Balls? <laughs> he knows I watch it. I watch anime. Any of those are true. Yeah. But I mean, like, how do we want to answer it? How do we want to answer it? This is so cute. I love this. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, I want to say Dragon Balls. One is a logical answer. Does it want me to? S does it want me to answer logically? I mean, we've done. We have been doing like riddles. <laughs> Logic. Um. I don't know. There's some things even with one you can't get and do. A genie might exist in this world. I'm gonna say Dragon Balls. Ugh, how crass. You shouldn't make jokes about the dead and their body parts. Hmm. You barely made it, but you passed. <laughs> Congratulations, human. Now take this prize for your efforts. Be proud in knowing that you're the first human I've given any to. Bye bye, not so silly human. Wait, what did I get? I won. I got an arcane tablet. Cool. Wait, can I equip it? Oh, I can. What? Plus two, look at all the water, or the element resistance that I get, and I got plus one intelligence. Oh yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Ooh, what is this? Ball, oh, that's the ball that we have to fix, right? Is there anything else we can talk to them? Okay. Okay, it looks like there's nothing else this way. That was fun, though. Um, okay, it looks like we're gonna have to go back and uh, go to the other area now. <laughs> I wonder what it said if you answer any of the other ones. <gasps> what is that? <gasps> oh, that's the dinosaur. Ew, what is it eating? The creature's hasty retreat leaves behind the unsettling scene a half eaten arm. Discarded in the undergrowth, a grim reminder of what stalks these wilds. Oh gosh, who's the who's does that arm belong to? The air still feels heavy with its presence, a quiet warning that this jungle holds more than it shows. Best to stay sharp. It's likely not the last time you'll cross paths with something hungry. <sighs> Alright, loose it. Whatever this creature was, it clearly has no qualms about preying on humans. Can we inspect it? Whoever's arm this belonged to could have probably used a hand against the creature you just saw. <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be a pun? Um, a deep foreboding hole in the earth, its bottom lost to darkness, the faint murmur of distant voices rises from within. Oh, jeez. Oh, what's this? An altar? Ooh. Old damp letter with a plea. 
silver and ooh a sapphire okay what does this say old damp letter with the plea undying blessed goddess of the waters i call to you in our time of greatest need the banners of blue and the gold sun advance leaving death in their wake and our people are broken the rivers once pure now carry the blood of the fallen and i fear we are doomed i beg you do not turn away from us now you have watched over us since the beginning and your waters have given life to our land now we are desperate and our cries for mercy echo unanswered i beg you let your power swell drown our enemies and restore peace to your faithful let them see the might of a goddess who will not be ignored i lay before you this sapphire blue as the waters that cradle our lives accept it as a humble offering a symbol of our symbol of my devotion and my plea we have nothing else to give but our hope and our prayers save us undying for without you all that we know will wither and die i feel so bad oh my gosh ali hi ali thank you for the five gifted subs oh my gosh twitch just gifted too <laughs> i love that thank you ali how are you doing wow we just took this guy's offering to his goddess <laughs> we're like well, this is mine now. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks, Allie. How you doing? <clears throat> okay, uh, is there anything else? Nope. Okay, let's continue. Just got done recording. Yay, did it go well? Are you all ready now with your a billion places that you're going to be going to? Pickle weed. Oh, prickle weed. Five health, but minus one strength for three turns, but plus one intelligence for three turns. Okay. All right, click on everything. The remains of an elven temple, which seems it might be over a century old. I'm currently doing a sponsored stream. This is Guild Saga, uh, Vanished World. If y'all want more information, exclamation mark, Guild Saga. That'll give you the link to the... Um, Steam page where you can wishlist it if you guys would like. This game's not out yet. It comes out. It comes out October 10. Um, it went well, but nowhere near done. No, no. I had an interview today. I think it went well. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> oh no! What? There's four of them. Oh boy. Okay, he's first. Oh my god, okay. What is this? Okay, let's see. Slash. Okay, he has slash. He has sheath in wind. Grant your weapon additional air damage. Ooh, the music. I'm gonna need y'all's help, okay? We're gonna be fighting some dinosaurs and some giant, I don't know, bees? Are those bees? Look, they look like flies. Wasp, who knows? Um, invoke lightning strike an enemy with lightning bolts. Oh, three hits. Get shocked for one turn. Resisted by magic barrier. Okay. Storm cloud. This does two hits and it gets shocked for three turns. Interesting. This just does more damage, I guess. Or has potential of doing more damage. But this costs three. And this costs two. Feels like this is better. Oh wait, what's the cooldown? Four and three. Oh, okay. Destructive strike, attack an enemy with a powerful blow to disarm their weapon. Oh, that's not bad. And then parry. Okay. Um, I don't think he can do, I don't think he can do anything. Cause we need to get close. Here, let's see. Oh. Wait. The distance is huge. Holy cow. What about this one? What the heck? Okay, if we move him here and then do this. Wow, he can actually attack one of these. I can't say, but I wanted to pop and share some love. Thank you, Allie. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, let's attack, I don't know, this one? Wow. 16. Um Wait, that did 8? Wait. 
Holy cow. Okay. Uh, he has one. Well, maybe Perry. Okay, we'll do Perry. In case he gets hit. So, Evan, you said that last time we did Perry, it was only the first one, the first hit. Okay, um, he is done, so in turn. Oh god, do you think they're dead? Ew, I hate these things! I don't like them! Oh my god, they're getting so close. Oh, look at that! It, it, ha it got damaged. Oh, it used dash. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Alright, here. Let's see. What are we gonna do? Perry was one hit only? Okay. You can save those points to the next turn, by the way. Oh. Hmm. I'm thinking we do Meteor, so they- these things. Oh, hmm. Hold on, I don't know where they're gonna move to, that's the thing. Um, or we can have a skeleton, there, wait, no, this would be good. Let's summon my skeleton. And then we have an extra person to fight with us. I think that's a good idea. And maybe we can put him right here. Use him as bait. I'm assuming that'd be based on other games. Okay. Um... I'm gonna move here, and then I'm gonna face this way. <laughs> Put your back to the wall. Hopefully that's good. Whose turn is next? Oh, her turn? Okay. I think I should stop now. Um, what can she do? Okay, so she can... Okay, she can launch a rock. <laughs> so she can throw rocks. She can heal. Um, she can also conjure thorn vines to damage and poison two enemies. You may target the same enemy more than once. Okay. Fortify. Restore a party member's armor. Place a hunter's trap on a nearby tile. Damage and knock any enemy away from you. Okay, what if I put a trap right here? Like right in between, like right in front of both of these characters. That could be a good spot. And then maybe I also do serrated vines. I don't know. Oh, it looks like I can hit these guys. I just can't hit these yet. So what if we do that? What if we put a trap right here? Okay. Nice. And then what if we attack this one it says poison two enemies um it says zero out of two so i'm not really i'm not really understanding oh you can target the same the enemy more than once oh so it looks like we can select nice okay now they're both poisoned Ooh, i like her um, we're gonna keep her here, I think. Okay. Uh, alright. Now we can just get... Here, we'll attack this one first. This one has the lowest amount. Um... Well, what would be better... How much is this? This only costs one. This does an additional, gives additional air damage. And then maybe I just do slash. Or I could do storm cloud. Buff and then slash. Okay, okay. Let's buff. And then let's use slash on this one. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, maybe we should do it again. Still didn't die, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, okay, let's move him back and then face that way. Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't confirm the buff. Oh, oops. Oh gosh, they poison. Oh no. And they're ranged. My skeleton will get revenge. Um. So if we move him here, he can attack this one. Maybe he can do crit. Um, this does damage if they're fear, paralyzed, stunner, and snared. These guys are only poisoned. Hmm. How does a skeleton get poisoned? <laughs> hey, better him than me, okay? <laughs> what if we, what is unleash might? Release hidden power. What does that mean? Should I do, we have three points only. Should we do unleash might and then do a slash? Yeah, you're right. I'm so mad I didn't actually do the buff last time, but whatever. <laughs> okay. And then we'll turn this way. I'm hoping that'll be good. Alright, let's see what happens next. Oh, he's going to the skeleton. Man, they hate the skeleton. My poor skeleton! Jeez! Oh, he landed in the trap! Woo! It worked! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! It worked! How about we put a meteor right here? I think this is a good idea because then the she can stay right there and not get hit. He can move to the neck to the side of her. And they're all kind of like trapped in the fire. I don't know if the fly thing is gonna be bothered by the fire, but I have a feeling no, but who knows. Okay, let's do meteor. Nice. Um, which one, which, which one is the, um, it's okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna stay still too. I'm just gonna stay here. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are we gonna make her do? She can't put down another trap. I was hoping she could. Um, we can, oh, uh, that's restoring armor. Our armor's still good. She's not wielding a bow, so she can't even do this. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess all we can do is this. Oh, nice. Oh, hold on. Wow, she can hit all three of these. <laughs> Let's hit, um, which one should we hit? Maybe this, oh, it's blocked, never mind. We have to hit that one. Okay. All right, look at this guy. This guy is ensnared, can't move. Um, oh, interesting, he can't move. Um, Burning and poison. This guy's gonna die. This one right here is gonna die like quickly. Okay, let's end it. Okay, he, I think we should move him here. Oops, oh. Well. Darn it. <laughs> Don't walk through the fire! No! <laughs> I thought he was gonna be clever enough to not walk that way. Okay, all right, but lesson learned. What kind of game is this? Uh, it's called Guild Saga. It's an RPG. Oh, thank you, FN. That's the link if you guys, if you would like to know more. Um, but basically, it's just a um, turn-based RPG. And at the beginning, you can create your character and have a backstory and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we're still learning more about it, but it's really fun so far. Um, I believe the demo is out right now, guys, if you guys want to try out the demo yourself. <laughs> oh my god, why did I do that? That was so dumb. Um, let's, let's shock them. Let's shock them. Yeah. Let's shock this one. Let's shock this one. Nice. I don't know 
don't know how much damage that did, but he's shocked now. And then maybe we can attack. Oh, we can't. He can only attack right. Okay. Mm. All right. We'll just face him this way. Oh, no. Now he's poisoned. These guys like to just attack from afar, man. Annoying. These guys. Oh, he got burning. This guy's gonna die. Okay, um, let's kill this one. Should I use this? Or should I use this? No, we should use this. Let's uh, guarantee that it dies. Well, I think it's gonna kill itself just by existing. So maybe we don't. Maybe I focus more on killing this other one. I think that would be a good idea. Nice. All right. One down. Um, I need to move. But I'm going to take burning damage if I step in this. So I'm kind of trapped. <laughs> what if I go here and then just chill? I don't think I can. I can't hit these over here. But I can use my vampire thing there we go okay i attacked him with six and i healed myself with two not bad not bad all right let's face let's face this way all right and in yes okay she what are we gonna want her to do we can increase his defense, or we can just attack. Um, how about we move... Mm, his, his armor's already full. Oh, you're right. Wait, what was the... What's the blue? Oh, that's a magic barrier. Oh, you're right. Okay. I could restore my armor. I don't think it's necessary, though. Um, how about we move here and then throw rocks at it? <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Let's throw some rocks. Take this, you giant bee. Wasp. Okay. Okay, it's his turn now. You can't move over here. This thing's gonna die. I might move him over here to keep this one here. Um, and then maybe do like invoke lightning. Kill that low health bug. Okay. Zap! <laughs> um, let's move here and then we'll parry and then face this way oh or no never mind oh uh, oh well okay that's fine <laughs> uh in <laughs> oh his hp is so low um okay my turn darn it Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to take the L here by walking in the fire, but I need to hit it, so. Again. All right. All right, her turn. I think I should heal him. How much does that cost? Only two? Okay, let's heal him. Bless. And then let's throw rocks. Uh. Hmm. Ah! I need to get better at that. <laughs> I need to do one space at a time. Darn it. I need to do one. <laughs> I need to do one space at a time. <laughs> ah, why? Oh, it's his turn? Um. I don't know. 
one space at a time. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> he can't, he can't do anything. Unless, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh look, now he moved closer to me, perfect. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> to sacrifice. Man, this burning, this burning stinks. Oh, it's so close, it's so close. <laughs> All right, she, she needs to hit it. There we go. Yeah! Oh, did you like it, Nelso? Thank you. We did it! The battle's chaos dissipates, leaving only the uneasy silence of the jungle. You absently check your arms, half expecting to find the venomous sting of those twisted bl blight wings. You, your gaze drifts over the scene, the jungle floor a canvas of carnage. Bodies already claimed by death before you arrived lie mutilated and half devoured. Blood pools around sh shattered crates and overturned carts, a testament to the savagery that befell these unfortunate souls. Among the carnage, something catches your eye. Deep blue fat fabric stained with gore, yet unmistakable in its hue. Upon closer inspection, you see it. You see it, the golden sun emblazoned on the cloth, the proud sigil of House Mazan. Oh boy. Looks like we were luckier than these soldiers. It's almost like they didn't even get the chance to fight back. I mourn the loss of these soldiers. I'm certainly, I'm certain they served with honor, but their presence here isn't without hope. It suggests we're near a settlement belonging to House Mazan. All right, well, let's not step in the ooze. Let's search, let's search. Okay, let's take that. What's in here? Ooh, corn. A shovel? Use this item to search for buried treasure. Cool. How do we know what buried treasure is? Muddy stranglers. Ooh, plus three armor. I'm gonna equip that. Oh wait, we can also search. Oh my gosh, the girl <laughs> just stepped in it. Blightwing Stinger, warning, do not consume. Okay. Uh, We got some meat and an ashwood branch. Okay. Some more meat and a bone. So everything else, oh. go all right looks like I got everything don't step in the stuff okay what about this search oh some wool an empty potion bottle and some water all right okay let's go to this guy a sharp arrow some loot. Oh no, what is this? It's a it's a letter. Oh, and a rod of Gus. Okay. Can I Oh, I guess we'd have to go. We'd have to go to the loot thing. Ah, so he can only he can only have one at a time. I'm guessing the same it goes for her. Yeah, this is her great bow, but she can't have both equipped. Interesting. Um, oh, there's one more thing to search, but let me look down here real quick. Okay, there is more. Okay, let's, um, carefully. Okay, got a thread. Oh, bronze pickaxe, and we got some beer. All right. Oh, while well, I stepped in poison. Okay, let me switch. I want more, I want this. I want more whatever this was. Poison essence and <gasps> sticky tree sap. We need this. Perfect. 
The palm tree oozes with thick, sticky sap, perfect for binding and crafting. The forest natural adhesive, ready for the taking. The sap would be ideal for mending boots ball. Yay, all right. Now we just gotta find Hans, wherever that guy went. Oh boy, what's this? Who's this? As you as you near the lifeless body sprawled on the ground, the plain robes mark it as one of the pilgrims from the camp, a soul lost the journey. You know what would be good, a good perk to have? Medium. I could talk to these people. Darn it. Thanks, Orca. You think this is him? I hope not. Um, the plain robes mark it as one of the pilgrims from the camp, a soul lost to the journey. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Though you face death before, a peculiar shiver claws its way up your spine. The air thickens with an unnatural chill and a creeping dread settles in as if you've become the focus of something unseen lurking just beyond the edge of sight. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick again. This is just too much. Let me check on the body. The two of you should stay, stand watch. How about this? Examine the body. Success! Ooh, we all leveled. You exam, or got experience. You examine the body with a practice eye, no noting the signs of decomposition, discoloration, and a faint odor. It's been dead for at least three days. The corpse bears multiple puncture wounds, undoubtedly the cause of death, but what truly unsettles you is the gaping cavity in its chest where something or someone ripped out the heart after death? Oh, I got a ring. Yikes. Pilgrim's Coral Ring. As you turn to leave the body to its rest, something catches your attention. A faint glimmer from the pilgrim's hand. A closer look reveals a small ring with an inscription inside. Hans! No, you were right, Evan! It is Hans! The name sends a chill through you. This is no ordinary traveler, but Hans, one of the missing pilgrims, brother Gaian feared loss. His fate is now certain and the news must reach Gaian without delay. Darn it, who's gonna fix the ball now? No! Ooh, age treasure map. He had a treasure map. Oh wait, also we need to read this note that was on the body of that soldier. To my loving husband, love the days are quiet without you. At least ask every morning when you'll come, when you'll be home, and I tell her soon. She's made a picture for you, her way of holding on, I suppose. Come home when you can, love. This house is empty without your laughter. Well, that's sad. Jeez. Can we put this on? Oh, it's a quest. Oh, I guess it's proof. It's proof that we found the body. That's probably what this is, okay. Um, what about the treasure map? Okay. So it looks like some kind of like a statue. It looks like a statue of a head. Have we seen this anywhere? We have a shovel so we can actually find the treasure, but I don't, I don't know. I don't recognize this. I don't, I don't recognize it. Have we seen it? Ooh, water. Got some pickle weed. It's important to look around. I like this. I like all the tiny details that you can click on. Ooh, we can mine this. You don't have the right tool. I do. I thought I got a pickaxe. Did I not pick it up? Or maybe she picked it up? Ah, oh, she picked it up. I guess it's important to have the people that, like I should have picked up that wand staff I should have given it to him like made him pick it up darn it oh well wow people leave money everywhere this is great oh gosh hold on there's another thing <laughs> hold on before before we go and fight some more I want to, I want to check something. Oops. I 
wanna I wonder if we've we've been here. Like there is that area. We might not have been here yet, but I, I wanna double check. Oh gosh. Please don't step in the poison. Like here? Is it, it's not this, is it? It's not, I don't see any, uh, I don't think it is. And it's not this place, is it? Okay, maybe, I mean, there's a hole here. Maybe they were trying to search for treasure. Right guys, this isn't, this isn't it. Okay, I'll keep going. <laughs> Did I go this way? Oh. oh shoot. Um. Hmm. Oh no. <gasps> this is it! Oh, this is where the treasure is. Oh, we found it. Um, this is awkward though because uh, we're not ha we're not topped off. <laughs> like his health is really pretty low. Um Wait, what did that say? Paralyzed, resisted shock? Wait, I'm so confused. Okay, also, let's actually, let's move her here and let's heal him. Okay. And then, let's place a trap right in front of him. <laughs> I love these traps. Okay. All right, in turn. And then what I will do is, um, but my thing is, will my fire get interrupted by this water? So maybe it's not good to put it here. Or maybe I should instead like put it like right here. Maybe I'm gonna do that. Did it not work? So confused. Did I do it wrong? What? What happened? Okay, whatever. All right, let's attack him. <gasps> Wet and paralyzed. Huh. Okay, and then we will just in turn here. I want them to come here. There we go. There we go. Interesting. So if they're wet and we pair and we shock them, Icon was wobbling. I know I'm, I'm confused by what I did. Oh well. Well, now they're poisoned as well. That's so OP. I love that. That's so good. Okay, she has no armor, so I'm gonna put armor on her. Or. Okay. Didn't work. Clearly there's something I don't know. Um, how about we summon a skeleton? Or what's going on? Why can't I do anything? It's like I'm bugged or something or glitched. I don't know. I'm so confused. 
I can't summon my skeleton. I can't do anything. Oh no. Well, that's not good. All I can do is end my turn. Hmm. All right, well, let's do this. Let's do some big damage. Wait, I have three left, so he can use this and then attack. Nice. This thing is almost dead. Stay still. Oh, just kidding, it's dead. Uh, all I can do is throw rocks. So oh, have a rock. Have another rock. And in. I am still frozen in place. I can't do anything. So. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. It's just them two. But this is okay. Um. Let's attack. This thing is dead. There we go. Woohoo! Easy! I did nothing. <laughs> Hopefully I... Okay, we're good now. Can I not search the bodies? Darn. Maybe they didn't have anything on them. Okay! Treasure! The treasure is here! Here! So, maybe... Like this spot? Let's use. But how do we use it? The skill is currently being cast. Oh boy. I think my character's glitched. Oh no. Supreme! Thank you for 15 months, Riso! It says a skill is being cast. I'm not I'm not doing anything. Here. What we could do is I believe I can go to back. I wonder if I should go back to the pilgrims area, drop the shovel off in the chest, and then have somebody else pick it up. Unless, can I just drop it on the ground? Oh, here. Oh, here, here, here. I don't even have to do that. I can just send it to her. Oh, okay. That's, <gasps> I should have been reading. That means I can send this to him. And then he... Wait, why can't I click on them now? What is going on? Wait, why can't I... Why can't I select her? No! <laughs> what the heck? Examine? Inventory? Use. I am so confused. What am I doing wrong? What's down here? Let's keep looking. Yeah, I know. I can't mine, but she can mine. Darn it. <gasps> What's going on? I'll give you some motivation. <gasps> what in the world? Oh, it's already 4.15? Wow, that went by fast. The air hums with a lingering unnatural energy as the witch's dark magic settles. You've seen the arcane before, but nothing like this. Nothing that could twist a man's very being. Even at the, as the sight of the transformation fades, questions remain. Who are these people wielding such dangerous magic with ease? And what could possibly bring them to the perilous depths of this jungle where death hides in every corner? Um, did you see that? See what I saw? Because that was something else. Hydromancy transmutation aside, they reek of piracy. We must tread carefully. Well, I like how we can choose. Um, I'd love to get my hands on that kind of power. It pains me to see life treated with such indifference. People this twisted and evil shouldn't be allowed to roam free. The only pirate worth anything is a dead one. I'd love to get my hands on that kind of power. I don't know. Maybe this one. I agree. No one deserves to be treated like that, no matter the mistakes they've made. Okay. How do we save? Oh, auto save is on. 
Oh, but we can save our own. Okay, we will save and we shall stop here. This was fun though! It was a good little preview into Guild Saga Vanished Worlds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a reminder, this was a sponsored stream, so I really appreciate you guys being here and experiencing it with me. Make sure to go to their Steam page, guys. Go here, go to their Steam page, and make sure to wishlist it. I, I obviously, I can't wishlist it because I have it, but... Um, and check out the demo that they have available. It goes, I'm a, I don't know how long the demo will be, but... There, there's a Steam turn-based RPG fest that's happening. Um, but if you want to just wait until the release date, Oct October 10th is release date. So, soon. This was fun, though. I actually really did enjoy it. I probably did something wrong with my character. I'm honestly not sure, but that's okay. That was really fun, though. I liked it.